Hey guys, I want to give you a quick tour of the studio where I recorded Cigar Box Guitar Evil, Cigar Box Guitar record that I recorded at the Projector Room in Decatur, Georgia. So check it out. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna talk about the amps we're using on uh, Cigar Box Guitar Evil. We got a, uh, a Fender Blues Junior NOS Tweed, um, which is a Tweed right off the shelf. It's got the Jensen speaker upgrade. Great sound amp with this first Cigar Box Guitar. And then we have it through a delay pedal. We have it over to a, a 65 tube amp. It's uh, Peter Strauss Company. This is the uh, the Little Elvis. It's a really cool amp. It's a real real cool tone. We got again. We got two mics on it, and uh, we're abing it from a uh, a Boss delay pedal from the inside from the control room on the other side. All right, we're also uh, going through a bass amp. We have two guitar amps and a bass amp for for the sounds we're getting on the Cigar Box guitars. We're using a uh, Ampeg SVT. It's the micro. This thing's the coolest thing in the world. It has a great low end on it. Um, it's just it's a separate head and a cabinet. And we have it mic'd up and it's uh, it's giving me all my low end because I'm I'm just doing kick and snare and guitar vocals. So to get some more low end, we've kind of isolated the this amp here. And uh, for the bass amp, give it isolation, just give it a little low end. So when you hear it, you're actually hearing three amps. You're hearing the, the fender. The uh, 65 Little Elvis and the uh, Ampeg SVT for that low end on the cigar box guitar. Everything I'm doing is with a three string cigar box guitar. I have some tuned to E, a um, couple tuned to G, G tuning. Um, this one has a bass string that Mr. Evil has done on this one. It's tuned to D. It's got a bass string, two guitar strings on it, and that's it. That's the setup there. Okay, so this is uh, these are my drums over here. This is uh, it's just a, it's just actually a floor tom. I think it's an 18 inch floor tom. And I'm using it for a kick drum. Turn it on its side, and I have a, a snare over here. It's also turned over on its side, and I'm doing a just a. And I have a double. I was doing a brush. Some songs have a brush. We got a little brush action, so you can do like a. Or do a brush. It's a different sound. So that's how I recorded all the songs are done with a kick and a snare. Cigar boss guitar and vocals all right here. The window is there, where all the uh, amplifiers are, and here's the. Tom's sitting here in the control room. It's a computer with a Pro Tools session he has going. And uh, here's the board. And all the uh, wires and stuff. He's got a memory man, a cathedral pedal, and here's the board with all the inputs. He's got a kick and a snare, and the guitar inputs, Little Elvis Blues Jr., and the vocals. The patch bay with all the cables in it. Some preamps at the bottom here. I don't know what any of this stuff does, but hopefully it makes me sound half decent. So yeah, there you go. That's where I set up over there. Well cool, that wraps it up. That was just a tour of the studio where Cigar Boss Guitar Evil was recorded. Uh, Tom Tapley produced it at the Projector Room in Decatur, Georgia. Twelve original Cigar Box Guitar numbers that I did one man band style live in the studio. So you can download it on iTunes or Amazon. Anywhere you download music, uh, cdbaby.com, or you can get it at snowdenguitars.com also, so check that out. All right, Cigar Box Guitar Evil, check it out. Thanks for watching.